Speaker for Edmonton Strathcona. Mr. Speaker, Ukrainians are fleeing the horrific attacks in their country and they are vulnerable. They are seniors, they are mothers with children. The open work permit won't help these people because they may not be able to work. Mothers will need access to daycare and they will need money to pay for it. In many cases, they may not want to leave their children who have been deeply traumatized. Canada must provide air and ground transportation to help Ukrainians get to Canada and then support them when they're here. This is mm -hmm. urgent. Will the minister commit immediately to financial support for Ukrainians when they arrive in Canada? The Honourable Minister of Immigration. Uh, Mr. Speaker, again, I'd like to thank this uh, member for her advocacy for the well-being of those fleeing Ukraine as well. Uh, with respect, uh, her point in uh, regarding the open work permit, uh, I, I would like to uh, point out that nearly 80% of those who've applied to come through the Canada-Ukraine authorization for emergency travel have also applied for the open work permit that we've made them eligible for. With respect to supports for people in terms of getting here and once they land, we're working right now with nonprofit partners, with private sector donors, with airlines to sort out some of the very issues that she's raised in her question. We are working around the clock across ministries with partners and provincial jurisdictions and on the ground in Canadian communities so we can maximize the extraordinary goodwill we are seeing coming from Canadians who want to do their part.